looking at the question. Let me see if I can do th this. Is the first time I've ever done it this way. We'll see if it works. One positive number is four more than twice another. So that means they're both positive. So let's say let, oops, and I got a cable in the way. Let x equal a positive number. And then n, most people wouldn't do it this way, but is, um, I should, I can just write equals. The other positive number then n equals five more twice, five more than twice. And then the product of these two, so x times n is equal to 1593. But again, nobody, not many people put the whole n thing in there. They would just do this. I gotta go double check if I read that correctly because I was doing 13 things in my head at once. One positive number is five more than twice another. Okay, then I'm gonna distribute the x and get two x squared plus five x. And then recall if I'm going to solve a quadratic, unless it's a couple of different special cases, I'm going to have to factor this and or use the quadratic formula. Because of the size of the 1593, I'm probably just going to go right to the quadratic formula, uh, even though I most, most often prefer the um, factoring. Okay, so then a is equal to 2. I'm wobbling around here. B is equal to 5. C is equal to negative 1593. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Ooh. Uh, that's going to be positive, so it's just going to be a, a, a large value. 2 times a, which is 2. So then I get negative 5 plus or minus 25. And a negative and negative means it's going to be plus. Oof. That's not pretty. Uh, 1593 is uh, 8 times 15. Oh, what am I doing it manually for? Stop laughing at me. 1593 times 4 times 2, which is 8. And I get 12,744. 12, 744 over 4. And so add 25 to that 1274, and I get 12, 769. Plus 4, what am I talking about? There we go. And I'm going to group that, and I'm going to take the square root of it. And it's a perfect square. I just had a feeling. So then this is a perfect square of 113. And so um, I was just double checking the 113. So I get negative 5 plus 113. So that's going to be uh, 108 over 4. And then I have negative 5 minus 113, which is negative 118. And of course, this is a negative number, so that can't be one of the numbers. Now, what's 108 divided by 4? It should be 22. That's not right. 25, 26, 27. 27. Let's double check it. 108 divided by 4. Pow. Okay, 27. So, x is 27, and the other number would be um, 5 more than 2 times that. So, 27 times 2 plus 5, that's the other number. What is that? 54 plus 5, which is 59. So I think it's 59 and 27. So hopefully this isn't too long and I can upload, uh, send this to you, etc.